use One more time. I got this. One more time. I'm so sorry. Hello! Today we're going to be talking about lip reading. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start, we're going to play a little game that just is going to show how hard it is for deaf people and deaf people with cochlear implants to actually lip read. So. Yeah. so the game, I'm going to say a couple things and her cochlear implant is going to be off and out and so she's going to have to read my lips and there's going to be an easy level, medium level, and a hard level. So we'll start right now. Alright, so we're going to start with easy, starting with easy, easy. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? What is your name? What's your name? Can you spell that for me? Can you spell that for me? Yeah, so that was the easy level. She did pretty good. So we'll go with medium. What would you like to eat? What would you like to eat? Is there some other way that I can help? Is there some other way I can help? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know any sign language. I'm something, something sign language. Did you say I'm sorry I don't know sign language? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> See, I can piece things together. If you would like, I can write it out for you. Something for you. Do it again. If you would like, I can write it out for you. If you'd like, I can write it out for you? Mm -hmm. I'll stop. Yeah. So that was medium, and the next ones are hard. Once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away. Once, once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away. Okay, that one might have been easy that because we watched so. Is there any way that you could teach me ASL? Is there any way you can teach me ASL? You're doing them all related to ASL and duck feet. Okay, okay. These ones, the next ones aren't. Okay. The dog toy is in aisle 7 close to where the dog food is. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. The... the dog toy is in aisle 7 close to where the dog food is. Something with a dog. Something with a dog, yeah. You want it again? Yeah, do, do uh, the first part. The dog toy is in aisle 7. The dog, I have no idea. The dog toy is in aisle 7. The dog toys. Aisle 7. Aisle 7. I have no idea. Aisle 7. Oh, in aisle 7? Yeah. Oh man, I would have never got that. Close to where the dog food is. Close to where the dog food is. Mm -hmm. oh. I thought you said close. Mm -hmm. but then. Oh my goodness, that dress looks so good on you. Oh my goodness, that dress is so good on you. <laughs> that one was a little tricky. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm really good at lip reading, but it was difficult sometimes. So, um, lip reading takes patience and practice. I've done it my whole life, and so I'm used to lip reading, but it's hard when I don't know the context. But like, there were some times where he would say something and I didn't know, and then I would recognize a word, and then I would try to piece it together. So it takes a lot of skill. Um, I'm also used to his lip reading. So I can read his lips pretty well, just because I've practiced a lot with him. But there are some people that I literally cannot lip read. For example, my brother, he doesn't move his mouth at all, so he... I cannot lip like, read, but, or there's people who have like beards or mustaches that can make it hard too, so, yeah, it's hard. And one important thing that I've learned while I've been with Emily is to kind of understand her situation 
since she has a cochlear implant and it's on her right side and she doesn't have one on her left side how she's facing me right now so that she can understand me is something that she has to do if she was just looking forward it would be harder because I'm on her left side and when people are talking it's it's kind of rude or mean if they're saying something and she asks them oh like what did you say because she didn't get all of it and then the person is like oh never mind or it was nothing like don't worry because yeah. that kind of tells her oh you don't you don't like deserve or need to be a part of the conversation like we can just move on without you type thing and it's super important also that we kind of understand she's trying to hear she loves being a part of the conversation and just being patient and respectful by facing her and making sure to talk loud and talk clear and if you even know sign language trying to sign with her is is even better there's so many scenarios where it's so hard to just rely on hearing um, like where I can't read their lips for example in the car if I'm in the back or if it's dark and I can't read your lips at school there's a lot of situations like in assemblies or if students say something but I'm, I can't lip read what they say or the teacher turns around to write on the whiteboard there's just so many different scenarios that is just so tough and I'm just constantly just trying to just understand anything I can. So it really helps and I really appreciate it when people just do small things to help make my life a little bit easier. Like sitting on the right, looking at me, like when we're eating, like don't cover your mouth when you chew, just finish, swallow, and then speak. So, but I understand that like it's not natural, it's just people forget. And I totally understand that, but it goes a long way when people try. So. Yep. And that's our video for today. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah.